Does that make sense? Okay. So you got to know how to you got to know how to tell the story. What's number three, guys? This one should be easy. You know what, Celeste? I don't even want to work with an agent. Celeste, I don't even want to work with an agent. Paul, I understand how you feel. I felt the same way before I became an agent. What I found out is that it takes hard work to find that great agent. And I worked really hard to become a great agent. All right, I'm not convinced, but okay, yeah, but you're right, it's three photos. Yes, yes, it is. Now, have you ever, well, maybe you haven't been around long enough, so that. Uh, Ms. Jody, have you ever heard most people talk about reporters in your career? No. Why? We never were taught <clears throat> sales to be a salesperson. Right. And so you, you don't have rebuttals unless you're engaged in the <clears throat> avenue of sales. Right. And we just run off at the map. Right. I tell you that's right. Right. That's a path of these resistance. Right? Because you could talk about something that's in common, square footage, and you think that's something that's really now. Okay? So, You're not talking about so here's another question. Everybody talks about sales. I need to make a sale. I need to have more sales. What the hell does the word sales mean? So that's <laughs> that's the result of the sale. Okay? But do you see what I'm saying? Nobody asked that question. What is sales to you, Ms. Jody? An increase in your volume. Okay. This is very simple. Sales is the effect of a cause. What is the cause? You have to do the proper selling. But we're not trying to sell. You see what I'm saying? So nobody wants to sell. That's why they use a lot of marketing uh, uh, tricks and things. stuff like that, right? But sales is the result, it's the destination. In this case, the contract is the destination. There's no money involved. That's why I say, you want to buy a commission in the future? <laughs> if you keep trying to sell yourself, you got, your house is going to be worthless. She went from saying, I'm not paying more than 2% or $50,000, so she's going to pay $600,000 for that deal. Because I had to learn how to sell her through a storytelling with my what? There you go. And what does rebuttals are supposed to accomplish? So let's. What are those three things? Diffuse. Diffuse what? Diffuse the objection. Okay. I think the third one's story. What's number two before you go to number three? I can't always read. Second. Why? It's supposed to increase your value. Okay. What's the third one? Okay. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Storytelling. Okay, you gotta be convinced. You gotta have conviction. Okay, you know why you're not convinced? Because you're sitting like that. Your body posture determines how you speak. <laughs> okay, so rebuttals do three things. They diffuse the objection, they increase your value, and transition to storytelling. It's that simple. Have you ever learned that before real estate? No. Why not? Do you think it's important? Do you think it's important? Why is it important? To get past, uh, I guess, their guard. Right. See, in the beginning, most sellers and agents are adversarial. Just by, by the nature of the business. So you gotta make sure you guys are walking on a straight line with it. That's the job of the salesperson. Does that make sense? Okay. What's number four?